pretty darn smooth. Okay, let's put this back together again with our brain. Well, hello my friends. I'm working on this PTO again and uh, everything measured fine when I was, uh, like I measured the coil, it was 4 ohms. Uh, once somebody suggested that my little battery wasn't strong enough so I actually hooked it up to the to the uh, tractor battery and had it running sitting in the seat because you have to have you have to be sitting in the seat holding the PTO in my hand pulling the button nothing okay, I've taken this apart in front of you many times this piece from this piece now I just started tapping on it and I got I got the uh, I got this part off the coil. So now we're cooking with gas. So I'll just uh, regroup here. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to clean up some stuff. Uh, things aren't like things weren't moving right, so I'm just going to get some Varsol and clean uh, clean this up. Thanks. Okay, what have you seen? Um, this cover for the uh, magnet fits on here. And I believe it goes up and down. And, and that's what I was kind of missing. Now, now I'm cleaning everything up. I, I tapped this off of here. Because this, this, this is a moving part. And I don't think it was moving much. With this ring. I the whip. So now I'm just cleaning stuff up. I'm only going this far because the coil reads good, right? Four ohms. But it doesn't click on and off. <laughs> Good. Now let's get a little wire brush. Slightest amount of oil. Schmoo. The other ones that I've worked on, when they go, the coil goes inside uh, here, and the wires actually puke out and grind into the wheel and everything. This one's not doing that. So I'm going to just uh, get some air. Where's my eyes? Everything looks to be in better condition than I would even have expected, right? It's going to wake. Alright, we're back. I've got the cover off of this. This just sits on here and it is a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, very, very precision fit. And this wasn't sliding up and down on here like that. So I'm going to just put this back together now. This, I think this, who's it with the spring on it? Goes over the wire and just holds it down. Like that. these two on here. Now we have a ring on the back here that's no longer on, right? We should probably just set that on there. I do believe it was on there. I'm quite curious to see if we got a clickeroo now. Uh, this comes off and goes on like that. Oh, like that. And then this slides up and down on there too, eh? With the bearing. So I'm going to just you can see the, the movement marks. Yeah, this whole thing pushes up and down. With accuracy, no less. Now I'm going to put it back together the same amount of threads that I had before. I'm going to turn it all the way down. 
and then using it. See if that does anything for me. Okay, it doesn't do anything there. Let's take it almost off. I did check, I did test the electric magnet, right? Although maybe my battery is dead now. That's always a possibility. 12.4 volts, that's lots. Okay, I'm gonna go red on this side for a change. Oops. It's making more noise. Okay, I'm gonna take it right apart. All right, a little more work to do. I knew I was missing something small, so I tapped this into here further, and watch this. Now we're not done yet, but this gives me hope. And I know it's a relay, so if I reverse, reverse the polarity, it won't change much. Yay! Okay, so that's all I did was I tapped that onto here. So this had has become detached and was so far away it wasn't attracting. But now I want to get it out and do a better job. We got sockets we don't run. These kind of sockets are lots of fun. Mostly what I use my big sockets for is tapping stuff out. One more. Uno mas. I don't like hammering on the chrome ones, but I'm going to hammer on the chrome ones. Look at this is a wood. Strictly, uh, strictly an adjustment or a placement issue, eh? How far in does that go? No, I think that, yeah, that goes on there. And that goes into there. Maybe I've got it now. Maybe it goes further. I don't believe it. Nothing's changed. Oh well, let's put the springs back on. Okay, let's try it before we put it together. Should go clickety clunk, right? That's what we're looking for. And I don't know what the measurement of that of the thousands slash uh, measurement between the clutch and the electromagnetic plate is. I'm not going to muck with that. I'm going to just do those up. I don't know if I'm, I might have a reliability issue. Socket now for the fine adjustment. I remember taking it apart. It was just there. Two threads. Now that's assuming the springs are the same strength, right? Now if we get a clickety doo dah now. I want to watch.
watch it happen. Let's see if you guys can watch it happen too. We're watching this piece right there snap up and down. Beautiful thing. Now when I lock it, <clears throat> takes four, three amps to do this, by the way. All right. <laughs> that these two should be locked. There they are. The whole thing's turning as one, and when we undo it, we have slippage. See if it does it again with all the pieces back on. <sighs> Crazy man. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Okay, I looked up on the internet and I got onto a chat. <clears throat> pardon me, a chat forum. And this is the the bolt you adjust. And I've taken these down almost an eighth of an inch. And I got a twenty thousandths uh, measurement from the silver plate to the darker plate, right there. And everything else is too tight to stick it in there. So now, do we still have spinning? Barely. Hmm. Now, let's see if we have the clicker out. With our battery, right? Sounds healthy. I think that's just a little too much friction for me. I'm going to go a quarter of a turn on each bolt. One, two, three. I'm going to activate it a couple of times. And then I'm going to remeasure that gap. Sounds a bit healthier. Now, it's a bit looser than 20. I'm going to go to 20. I'm going to go to 30. We'll just jump right to 30 and see if that's what it is. And that's 32. That should give us an idea if I went way over. Yes, I did. So that's what a tight, a tight, let's go back an eighth of an inch, or an eighth of a turn. And I'm going to keep mucking around like this until I get it. Thanks. I'll tell you what it is when I'm done. So I'm going to go to 22 thousandths of an inch. It's not very much, but if it provides a smooth, free wheel, situation. I think that's better. I understand that sometimes things can be a little tight. 22 there. I think I'm going to go to 22. So I'm just going to go all three just a little bit of like that, like that, and like that. And I'm going to go click click just so that it sets its own average. Good. And I'm going to measure. Nothing's easy. And that's a loose 22. I'm happy with that. Oh, that's not going to go in, is it? No. It's giving us our headache. That's how sensitive it is, eh? And there. Now I'm going to click it again. 
because that's when it seats, right? Now we'll just see if that changed anything. Just touching. Just touching. I think we got her. I think that's ready to be installed. I even, I'm, I'm going to clean these uh, contacts a bit more. Whoops. I'm going to clean these contacts a bit more. Okay. Thanks a lot for that one, guys. So yes, my friends, we're ready to install this. Okay, here's the PTO. There's the output of the engine shaft with the drive pulley and the belt that runs the hydro. I've uh, t tested this bolt. It turns in. Oh, whoops. Turns in to the three inch mark. We'll just do that for you. It's kind of fun. Oh, wrong way. Really? Yeah. Okay. Heads up. Okay. So I took a measurement. And it's, yeah, that's right, from there, and it's two, two and seven eighths. Okay, so you with me on that? Two and seven eighths with about a half an inch left of threads. And this is all the stuff you just got to pay attention to, guys, because this PTO fell off, right? Mind you, it fell off after 15 years. So I've taken a piece of paper and I've cleaned this up. I've got some uh, anti-seize to put on there. Not on the bolt. I'm going to put Loctite on the bolt. So we're just about ready to go. But I think I'd better put some anti-seize on that post right now. Be right back. Okay, so originally I was going to use my torque wrench and tighten up that PTO to 50 pounds, but it would mean taking the rad off and the covers to the intake to get to the top nut to hold it. So I wasn't, I went to plan B, or actually it was plan A, and I tightened up the PTO with the impact. There it is on there. And now I'm just going to put the belt on, the pulley, and at the same time I've tied that, I've tied that bar up with the tie wrap, and I'm going to take that off right there. So that's going to go clunk. Sorry, I'm moving all over the place. Okay, I have the belt around the clutch. That took two minutes, not even. I had not tightened it up yet, because I still want to see if I can connect this bar to that hook. I just wiped it down with uh, a little bit of alcohol and uh, I think it's ready to go. I might wax it, I don't know. But I guess it's time for a demo, eh? Gonna spread some fluff a little bit, eh? It's a miracle. So thanks for watching this one with me guys.